Hey guys, welcome back to Mountain Dog Companion. Thanks for tuning in again. Um, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about um, Sarah B and Moonlight's litter of mini Bernadoodles. We have some Merles here. We have some tricolor. Uh, well, the Merles are tricolor Merles. Um, we have some black and whites. Just an overall really nice litter. Some blue eyes. Um, beautiful puppies. So, um, and they'll be ready to go home by Thanksgiving. So, if you're looking for um, a puppy during that time frame or shortly after, feel free to reach out to me um, here at Mountain Dog Companion. Um, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about each one individually. Um, we just did individual pictures and we're gonna be talking about um, each puppy's personality and their size comparison um, in the litter. Um, we just did microchips, so we'll be starting off. I'm gonna be going through um, with the microchip reader here um, and talking about each one. Just I just wanna make sure I got the right puppy here for you, so um, talking about the right one. So first up here, we have Smokey. Um, he probably has more of that black look overall. Um, not as much white, which is actually, I find it really unique. Um, just a really nice, uh, kind of a moonlight edition of a Bernadoodle. So um, look at that really nice confirmation as far as just um, really not the shortest legs, just a really nice, um, nice pup here. Um, nice black coat, very silky, silky and soft, white tip tail, white socks front and back. Um, and he's more of a laid-back personality overall, um, just a super sweet little guy, so, um, and it looks like he just dipped his nose directly in the bowl of um, some milk, so, a <laughs> beautiful little guy, white chest, um, and absolutely a sweet temperament, and just um, very sweet, loves being held, so, um, again, that was Smokey. Um, I'm gonna set him over here. Um, just so I don't keep going back through the same one, so you'll have some friends over there soon. Um, next up, I think this is Sue, if I'm not mistaken. Um, nope, it is Star. Um, Star is a Merle, and she has one blue eye, and um, a half of her eye on the other side is blue as well. So, um, beautiful little girl some black spots over the back, really nice gray color, um, and has those tan points over the um, over her eyebrows there, and the legs, nice white socks, just a beautiful look, white tip tail, um, beautiful little girl, um, perfectly, just really what you're looking for as far as a tricolor um, Bernadoodle. If you're looking for one, right there you go, you can't get them any better as far as coloring goes and her personality is super sweet as well. Um, not the most outgoing, um, but not the most laid back as well, has a really nice mix of playfulness, um, but you can see she really loves her pets as well. So um, again, that was uh, Star. So um, next up here, um, we're going to be talking about Sue. So. Um, she really stood out to me because of her unique black markings over the side and her playful personality. So she's super outgoing, always up for um, anything, whether it might be playing fetch or just playing with toys or just being held. Super sweet girl and you can see that teddy bear look as well. Just a super nice round uh, face, super nice furnished. Um, and a really unique look with those spots. Um, the tan points are really showing through as well. She's got a white tip tail um, and a beautiful personality. Nice and playful little sweetheart. So um, if you're curious about that nose, um, it does typically black out. Um, with Merle's it can be sometimes a little bit tricky to tell, um, but for the most part, um, they end up being uh, black as they kind of get older. So normally between your eight to 10 week mark is when they change colors and really start filling in um, and become really noticeable. So um, so again, that was Sue. Um, and this right here is Sage. Um, so I guess all the Merles want to stick um, within <laughs> grabbing distance here. Um, Sage is one of the bigger girls. Um, she does have um, a little bit of black as well, but that right hand, uh, or right side of her, um, that ear is really just a unique spot there over the ear. It'll be like a really nice um, left and right um, picture for you. It's really cute. Um, beautiful tan. Um, she's got blue eyes as well. Um, 
let me see here I think yeah the right hand the her right eye is like a little bit it's almost half and half as well so um, a really nice look there for you bright blue um, those colors don't change um, those are here to stay and then she's got those um, black markings over the side there um, the black right ear as I had mentioned um, tan points really nice tan there white tippy toes um, and white back uh, hind paws their socks so um, and a white tip tail so beautiful little girl her name is Sage next up I'm just gonna keep on going with the Merles if we're this far anyway we might as well uh, keep on going so I believe this is Sophie here um, and nope I'm wrong it's actually Sunny um, Sunny has a little bit less black um, she almost has like one tiger stripe over the side, um, but primarily gray, um, does have those tan points and beautiful bright blue eyes. Um, she also has white socks, that white stripe in between her eyes. Um, just a really a trademark tricolor merle there for you um, with the blue eyes. Um, white socks in the back, beautiful tan. She's a little bit more laid back overall in the litter as far as the girls are concerned. Um, just um, a little bit more laid back, a little bit more um, just content overall. So um, a su super sweet girl. Her name is Sunny. So next up is Simon here. Um, he's probably got some of the more white markings as far as um, the boys are concerned um, or the black and whites are concerned beautiful white markings on the hind paws um, and the front paws. He's kind of got a unique spot there on the back. Beautiful white stripe in between his eyes um, and a white muzzle. Um, white socks in the front, a white tip tail. Um, beautiful little guy. He's one of the more outgoing boys in the litter um, at the time. It's kind of hard to tell personalities still, but um, definitely more outgoing. Um, just more up to no good um, or good. <laughs> um, but super sweet little guy um, very outgoing very playful just um, really easy to like so um, that was um, was it Simon mm -hmm. I think so this is Skipper here um, he is a black and white he's got nice white socks kind of an uneven look which is kind of cool I think um, where his left paw is has way more white than the right one the right one kind of has his foot covered in white um, and the rest is black. It'll give kind of a unique look uh, for him. Um, a white tip tail, white socks in the back, um, and he's probably one pretty much medium tempered um, as far as right now. Um, not the most outgoing, not the most laid back. Loves his pets, loves being held, um, but a little bit hard to read at the time as far as personality goes. So, but a super sweet little guy nonetheless. So. Um, again, that was Skipper. Next up is Stella here. Um, she is a beautiful black and white girl. Um, one of the more white, has more white markings as far as the girls go. Um, kind of more overall. Her white uh, right leg is more um, white and the left one kind of has a nice looking sock there pretty much covering her um, whole foot. Um, and she has a really nice white, um, white spot there, a Swiss kiss. Um, hind paws are nice and white, uh, just some really nice white socks, white tip tail, um, beautiful white stripe, and an absolutely sweet personality. Um, she is also one of the, those medium tempered um, personalities. She's not super outgoing, not super laid back, loves being held, um, but doesn't mind playtime with her litter mates. So um, definitely one to keep an eye on. She is an absolute sweetheart, So, um, and her name is Stella. Um, if you have any questions regarding any of the puppies here, we're doing individual pictures today and they should be up on the website. So um, if you want more information as far as uh, Moonlight and Sarah B are concerned, um, general weight of the puppies, um, what comes with them, each one when they go home, um, what the adoption process goes, feel free to check out the website. It's mountaindogcompanion.com. Um, it's got all sorts of good information there for you. Um, and last but not least here, as far as uh, the puppies are concerned, um, this is Sophie. So she is also a black and white girl. There's two black and white girls. Um, 
she's got a nice white tip tail, um, nice white socks in the back, and then she kind of gets um, her unique look here um, on the right hand side. Um, she kind of has a white uh, collar wrapped around the side here, um, extending down on her tuxedo. Um, there in the front, but the other side doesn't have that white stripe, which makes it kind of cool to uh, cool to see and gives her a unique look. Um, she has a little bit more of the teddy bear look overall, um, just a super sweet um, white face uh, or nice and round face, um, super nicely furnished, um, beautiful little girl. I'd say she's pretty mostly laid back, um, probably one of the more laid back girls in the litter. Um, just super content, super laid back, and just do, does really good um, as far as just, she, I think she's going to make a great companion, um, a great puppy to uh, maybe for a one person home um, where she spends a lot of time just as a cuddle bug and does very well as far as like maybe being an emotional support puppy or just a really good pet in general. So um, again, that is um, Sophie. So. Again, this is Sarah B and Moonlight's litter. Um, there's nine puppies. Um, most, actually, all of the Merles ended up being girls. Um, then there's three black and white boys and two black and white girls. So, um, if there's any questions regarding any of these puppies, um, whether it might be as far as the adoption process or maybe coming out and visiting, taking one home, feel free to reach out to me. My number is 330-234-0102. You can always email us at mountaindogcompanion at gmail.com. You can always check out our website at mountaindogcompanion.com. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. Take care.